There are two things that make really, really mad a chemical engineer. The first one, that their simulation won't converge. And the second one, to be confused with a industrial engineer. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Remember that in this channel, we talk about chemical and process engineering for both students and professionals. So don't hesitate and click on the notification bell so you get all my latest videos. Now let's get serious guys. I get a lot of questions of students wondering what's the difference between chemical engineering and industrial engineering. Sometimes I even get the question of chemical industry or maybe even industrial chemist. Sometimes I even get the question of mechanical engineering versus chemical engineering or process engineering. But for sure, those are topics for another video. Right now, we're going to be focusing our attention on industrial engineering versus chemical engineering. And of course, the very first thing that we need to do is to address the elephant in the room. Yes, guys, we all know that industrial engineering is the easiest engineering of all. Woo! Now that we address the elephant, let's stick to the fact. But before we continue with the facts, let me tell you guys that this video is not an explanation on what is a chemical engineer. If you want to check out that, please check out this video right here that I will be leaving you because for sure this is not the video to understand what's chemical engineering. I'm going to assume that you already know what's a chemical engineer and maybe you have some doubts on the differences between chemical and industrial engineering. Maybe you think they're pretty similar. Maybe you have some friends and family that are both chemical and industrial engineers and they seem to have the same jobs or pretty similar. They work both in industries, in manufacturing or so, but for sure we need to address the main differences. So let's get started with the definition of the chemical engineer. The chemical engineer is in charge of converting raw materials or other chemicals of low value into high value materials required by society. They use their knowledge on sciences such as chemistry, physics, and math to apply them into processes and chemical plants. They are in charge in the manufacturing of these goods. Quick examples of industries are oil and gas, energy, old chemicals such as acid, bases, agrochemicals, plastics, pharmaceuticals, semiconductors, and much more. And in the other hand, we have the industrial engineer. The industrial engineer will focus mostly in improving overall production in the industry. We'll focus on topics such as continuous improvement, quality control, inventories, efficiencies, production cost, healthy safety and environment improvements, and overall reduce cost, resources, and time. Facility design, project feasibility, design of tools, intelligent systems, and project management are also very important topics to consider. Now, by the definition themselves, I know that they may not be quite different. Of course, chemicals sound much more into chemicals or chemistry, but industrial sounds very like, yes, industry. Unfortunately, this is not quite clear. I know that there is some industry in chemical industry, and I know there's some chemistry or chemicals in industry overall. So let's try to make a difference and try to differ what does a industrial engineer will do versus the chemical engineer. Let's get started with the concept of inventory, which refers to all work that has occurred. Raw materials, partially finished products, finished products, pure to sale, and departure from the manufacturing system. So essentially, inventories are very important in both manufacturing industries and chemical industries. A good example will be the raw materials that would react. When they react, this may be the partially finished materials, and then you separate them into eventually the final product and byproduct. Those need to be stored eventually. That's the inventory. So as you can imagine, we have an issue for both engineers, the chemical engineer and the industrial engineer. Now, how will the chemical engineer approach this issue? They will most likely perform material balances in order to ensure the total materials that are required for raw materials, for instance, the reactants, the reagents, then the material that will be reacted, or the products, and eventually the byproducts for a given process. In the other hand, the industrial engineer will approach the inventory as follows. They will most likely calculate the optimal stock, the timing, schedulings, and of course, the amount of total value in the raw materials in the partially finished products and in the final products and if there are any byproduct as well so same issue different approaches now let's talk about unit operation or the equipment that will be used in the industry in this specific case for the chemical engineer we have that they will most likely use their knowledge of sciences to create equipment called unit operations good examples are pumps heat exchangers distillation columns reactors and so on 
These are used to perform such changes of the raw materials and to convert them into partially finished materials. Eventually, what you want to end up is the final product. Examples of sciences or theoretical concepts that go behind that may be rate of reactions and kinetic theory for the reactors, mass transfer coefficient and separation coefficients for the distillation column, heat exchange design, the overall heat transfer coefficient for heat exchangers, and using the Bernoulli's equation for the system of fluids with respect of a pump. In the other hand, the industrial engineer will most likely not be working with the concepts of the unit operations per se. They will see the unit operations as a box. They don't care what did they do. They care about typical operation, time of operation, maintenance, and scheduling. They may also work towards efficiency, the improvement or allocation of space, and overall requirements of industrial safety, healthy, and environment issues. So right away, you can see that if you're into design and operation of the unit operation, go for chemical engineering. But if you're interested on working more on the efficiency and the allocation of the resources of the unit operations, work as a industrial engineer. Now let's talk about quality. And before we even continue, we need to address this important aspect. Quality in engineering is not the same as the concept that you will hear in the everyday language. In manufacturing, a measure of excellence or a state of being free from defects, deficiencies, and significant variations is called quality. So now you can imagine all the problems that this implies. Let's get started with the chemical engineer, for instance. If we have a product line and we know the typical process specifications and product specifications, if we see that there is a trend, let's say, on the density increasing, we should make a decision on changing a process condition in order to ensure that the product will remain within the limits of the process. The chemical engineer will be using their knowledge of sciences to make these changing properties. For instance, changes in temperatures, process time, pressure, velocities, etc. In the other hand, the industrial engineer will have another approach towards quality. They will perform quality analysis and studies in order to decrease the variability of the product from batch to batch or from product line to product line, meaning that their focus is towards the decrease in those variances. For example, if the chemical engineer is changing temperature, pressure a lot of times, that will be seen in a quality report. There's a variability of the changes in density because there's a lot of changes in the process. And then the process engineer or chemical engineer will say that this is due because of the raw materials. So as you can imagine, there will be a great discussion on why there is a quality issue. Is it because of the chemical engineer or is it because of the nature of the process or what is the reason behind the problem? Plant design and operation of equipment. Typically, the chemical engineer will be in charge of designing the equipment, energy requirements, raw material balances, as well as final product in the plant design. This is definitely one of the most important tasks of the chemical engineer, knowing how the chemical plant works, how it was designed and how it should be operated. The chemical engineer is also in charge of starting up that product line, maintaining the product line, improving the quality of the product line, and shutting down the chemical plant if required. In the other hand, then we have the industrial engineer, which most likely is not going to be working with the process itself. They're not going to pay extra attention on why the equipment should be started up or maintained, on why the design of the chemical plant, why the reactor goes first, or the distillation, separation processes or so, but they will most likely be focusing their attention on how much time is required to start up, to maintain, to shut down, what are the people involved, the resource management, and as stated before, not likely to interfere with the process per se. In this specific case, the industrial engineer could make some observations on why are we taking so much time to start up the process, why are we throwing so much process into second quality, or maybe even to waste quality, why do we require so many people in the startup or in the operation per se, why do we require so much heating or temperatures, or why are we affecting so much of the safety issues when operating the process. In the other hand, the chemical engineer will most likely answer that these are requirements in order to maintain the chemical process alive. I wanted to add lean manufacturing because I really think that this is one of the topics that are very in common. So both the chemical engineer and the industrial engineer want to get through this lean manufacturing concept. Remember that both will focus to ensure manufacturing techniques are optimized to ensure there is no excess waste of any resources and ensuring the maximization of productivity. So this is the holy grail of industrial engineering to increase the productivity, decrease cost, and do this in a very efficient manner. As you can guess, the chemical engineer is also on board with this definition. 
We want to produce the most amount of chemicals with the least amount of resources thrown away in the least amount of time with the lowest cost possible. Optimization is something that every engineering field has in common. The chemical engineer will ensure to optimize the raw materials, the quality, unit operation sizing, their cost, energy expenditures, product purity, plant size, plant safety, and many much more aspects that are directly related to the chemical process. Now, the industrial engineer, on the other hand, will most likely work with the chemical engineer to ensure these are done simultaneously. The optimization of the chemical process is always on the first hand. So what's the point to do so much things on the industrial side? We are increasing efficiencies maybe, we are decreasing waste, we are increasing the safety, we are decreasing the environmental impact, but what's the point of all this if we are not achieving the main concept of the chemical process, which is to be able to produce the final product within specifications. So there you have it guys, now you have a better understanding on the difference between industrial engineering and chemical engineering overall. And also you can see that I am very biased towards chemical engineering. Of course, this is a chemical engineering channel. And of course I also work as a process engineer and I know that process engineering always comes first. I'm not saying that industrial engineering is not that important, but what I'm saying is that industrial engineering, at least in the concept idea, is way easier to understand. For instance, chemical engineers will take subjects on thermodynamics, transport phenomena, unit operation designs, plant design, and process control. All these have a very important aspect of sciences, physical sciences, chemistry, and a lot of mathematics. A lot of abstract fundamentals, understanding fugacity, understanding morphy efficiencies, fixed law, the transport phenomena equation, and much more. So this is for sure very, very hard to understand. So this requires a very analytical mind or a very critical thinking approach. And therefore, I say that industrial engineering is quite easier because you are not studying that fundamental of the sciences. You are studying techniques or studies or methodologies that other industrial engineers have already created. And that's why, guys, I really think that chemical engineering is way, way much more difficult and complex versus industrial engineering. Nonetheless, there are a lot of industrial engineering problems within the chemical industry. And that's why I still think there's a use of industrial engineering for chemical engineers. I will be quoting here my industrial engineer friend, which told me once, the seatbelt is very simple and very easy to understand, yet very important. And the same is true for industrial engineer. It may be simple, it may be easy, yet very important to apply. So now let's start making a closure, guys. Steady before, chemical engineering will have some industrial engineering, of course. Why? Because industrial engineering is the science of industrial processes, of manufacturing, quality controls, and so on. If you want to improve your processes, either mechanical processes, you're talking about machines, or if you're talking about electricity, you're talking about civil engineering, or of course, chemical engineering, you will have some industrial engineering overall. That's it. You cannot get rid of that. So the main question that will arise is up to you. What is the approach that you want to take in your engineering life? Do you want to solve complex chemical processes, work with unit operations, understand temperature, pressures, know a lot of physics, chemistry, and also be able to control chemical plants? Or maybe you are much more into the efficiencies, the timing, the scheduling, and the resource management? Well, that's up to you guys to decide. Now that you have a better understanding of chemical engineering and industrial engineering, let us know in the comment section, what do you think about the industrial engineering being intertwined with chemical engineering and the reverse, the chemical engineering concepts that go in industrial engineering. I'm looking forward to check out the comments and start a discussion on chemical and industrial engineering. And of course, if you are an industrial engineer, let's have a civil and peaceful discussion in the comment section below. On my behalf, guys, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.